Good morning and welcome. This is Pastor Lucy Pinter with your daily insights. And we continue with the splendor of His Holiness series. I hope that you are developing a lifestyle, a habit of worshiping the Lord in the beauty of His Holiness. For we are surrounded by both the visible and invisible tokens of the glory of God. His presence is undeniable. Apparent to us believers whose face have been unveiled by the salvation and grace of our Lord Jesus. And even to the non-believers just looking around the creation and so many things they speak of the existence of the presence of this God. We have been invited to behold and to share in the communicable, comprehensible splendor of the absolute divine perfection of the Lord. This whole series is an invitation an invitation to just come worship in the beauty of his holiness you know the glory of he that is clothed in grace and truth his glory is faultless we are invited to know this infinite God by his truth We are invited to know his love in our hearts. We are invited to be in contact with him and to experience his gracious aura. To know the Lord for sure. By the blood of Jesus, we are invited across the bridge of the flesh so that there stands nothing between us and God, so that our spirits are enjoined with His, so that our hearts may know His heart. God has revealed Himself to us so that we may know Him and know Him intimately. Yeah, I'm talking about just knowing Him and knowing Him intimately because when we worship him in the splendor of his holiness in the beauty of his holiness we're talking about just being at his secret place where you just get to see him for who he is and to know him just to know him and it is in his nature to elevate his people to lift them to levels where they can know and experience him beyond the human service understanding of God. I don't know whether in your heart you have this hunger and thirst for more. You know, like the way David was saying, Oh, my soul thirst for you in a dry and a weary land where you feel just, you know, just singing a few choruses, a few songs and just lifting hands and just saying a few repetitive words of worship ain't enough, you need more. You know, this is what we are talking about. And this is why the Bible is filled with people who had extraordinary experiences with God. This series is for people who are saying, I need more. I need more. I'm searching for more. We get to see people in the word of God, people who got to see a side of God. Not many people in their generation got to see. That's what I'm talking about. And over the past four days or four series, we have been reading of such an experience from Apostle John in the book of Revelation chapter 4. And today, I'm just going to touch on verse 5 and 6. John says, From the throne came flashes of lightning and rumblings 
and peals of thunder and before the throne were burning seven torches of fire which are the seven spirits of God and before the throne there was as it were a sea of glass like crystal you know this is the extent of the power of God he invited a mortal human being a mere man to bear witness to his glory in its fullness i want to provoke somebody john the revelator was a man with flesh and blood like we are yet he pushed through he got an invitation like you and i have received and was able to witness God in his glory and this is the God we serve a God who does not alienate himself from us by virtue of being God it doesn't matter how strong he is how mighty he is how great he is he is a God who initiates relationship with mankind he says come and i will show you who i am walk into my presence and i will show you the secrets of my dwelling place we are not strangers to him and this is why he took apostle john to the throne room and displayed the very symbols of his righteous power to him the very tokens of the power of god that adorns his throne and the sim- that and symbolize his righteousness and judgment i'm just going to pause there and i just want you to know that we got an open invitation how majestic is he that sits on the throne imagine that scene before apostle john the intensity of the glory of the appearance of God the holy spirit of God in his sevenfold dispensation imagine witnessing the omnipotence of the everlasting god first hand you know both the manifestation of power and life the awe and the fearful presence of the lord and his calm and remitting inferences at the same time you know i can imagine the over you know the overwhelming feeling in john's heart when he stood by the shores of that calm crystal like sea ah huh? the symbols of god's absolute counsel his just holy ways and his pure love and righteousness the manifest foundation of god's throne on grace you know all this phenomenal communicates the virtue and approachability of god you know the lightning the rumblings you know of thunder they are like warning signs symbols of the terrifying holiness of god and if you think about it this is enough to keep anyone away and yet the lord says come to me come and i will show you things never seen before by the eyes of men and this is why we say at the beginning that god does not alienate us he does not wish that we remain as strangers to him You know in Genesis 33 verse 18 to 19 there is also another person who was so daring who pushed through and said I need more and I pray that today after this episode there is going to be a desire bathed in you that you're going to seek for more hunger for more and this man in the book of uh in the book of uh exodus sorry it's not genesis it's exodus that it through this is moses he hungered for more 
he told the Lord, I will need more. He had asked for the presence of the Lord to go with him. But after receiving the answer to his prayer, he said, Lord, show me your glory. And the Lord replied, I will make all my goodness pass before you. I will call out my name, Yahweh, before you. I will show mercy to anyone I choose. And I will show compassion to anyone I choose. You see that? Moses pushing through. He wished that he may see the glorious majesty of the Lord. The brightness of his countenance. A manifestation of the Lord's excellence. And all this is happening after Moses has been to the mountain seeking the Lord, having such intimate communion with God. He had such a vast for even deeper, deeper acquaintance. He was honest with God. And how does the Lord reply? He says, He's the merciful, gracious God of Israel. In his abounding goodness and love, he tells Moses, I will make my goodness pass before you. And he made sure to give Moses that which would abundantly satisfy him. Just take time and read through that. Moses experienced that glory. And this is the God we serve. Majestic, awe-inspiring, yet, as I have said again, he doesn't keep us afar off. He doesn't keep himself hidden from a heart that desires to know him. How beautiful it is that we are invited to worship him in the splendor of his holiness. That we are invited to know him intimately, to know his heart. To walk in his dwelling place. How beautiful that we are not aliens to the beauty of God's glory. That we are not strangers to his counsel and his holy ways. His love and righteousness. Oh, how much I desire that we may have a yearning for the Lord's excellence. That we may desire to know him to understand the manifestations of his glory and to dwell in its splendor. That we may desire to stay in contact with his gracious energy, for there is no better place for a believer to dwell and worship than in the splendor of the Lord's holiness. This is my prayer for you. May you hunger, may you thirst, and may you also be obedient that you may develop a lifestyle of worshiping in the beauty of his holiness. Shalom. This is Pastor Lucy Painter with your daily insights. And this is the splendor of his holiness. Day five. Thank you for your continued support and encouragement to the making of the daily insights. Reaching an average of 60 people a day with over 10,000 total plays. I invite you to partner with us by supporting this podcast through monthly or one-time donation. Your contribution will be used to sustain the episode subscription and hosting platform. My goal is to inspire and share insightful messages in our generation, empowering one person at a time each day to continue serving the purposes of God in our generation. Your support is highly appreciated. Click that support button now and give your support. You can support with $1, $5, all as much as you are able to give blessings.